So I'm setting my ANET A8 3D printer up with a Ant Labs 3D Touch. I think this is a clone of the 3D Touch. Here's a diagram of the layout and it shows you where all your cables need to go. So I have these servo extension cables and these work perfectly as extension cables for this. This be all touch will replace your Z switch but this brown goes to the black wire on this extension cable and the red goes to the second pin on your Z but the orange cable which goes to white goes up here to the display port and instead of hacking apart my display cable I just soldered a little 90 degree servo pin connector on here and then uh, hot glued it to keep it in place and the orange cable goes to the white cable on this extension cable so I removed that from this three pin servo connector and added this on so the cable goes on there like that white cable goes to the red cable on extension so I took all the wires off this extension cable out of the three pin holder and the red cable will fit into that three pin connector like that and this white cable isn't used so it can be cut off the black can is basically ground for both of these but this pin right here the second one down on the J3 connector is a ground and you can verify that by taking a multimeter and putting it into ohms mode measuring the uh, resistance between ground and this pin and it should be close to zero second pin down on the J3 this goes in there like that and then your three pin connector goes into the Z and that is the easy way to uh, connect up a BL touch or an Ant Labs touch to your ANET A8. You don't have to splice your uh, uh, display cable or anything like that.